guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags are post videos every Friday, sometimes Monday and Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag if you're like me. Subscribe, hit notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. Today we are in Manchester and I'm really excited because we're going to Selfridges to check out the new bags. We're going to see Dior, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Bottega Veneta, Laeve, all my favorite brands. I'm after the perfect basket bag. I still want to get myself a really good one. So let's start. We are starting a Dior, but before I'm going to show you some bags, I want to show you my outfit, what I'm wearing today. So that's a little summer bomber jacket from Zara, a little vest, the cotton white vest from Massimo Tutti little thingy from the Massimo Duty as well and a skirt, white skirt balloon one from Zara, simple B mesh thingies, shoes and my little Bottega Venta mini pouch to be with me accompanying me in this little journey. beautiful leather boot an amazing white color not practical at all but how gorgeous it is just just look at that and this little cute summer beauty those colors are absolutely perfect for the summer just that one is a little bit less vibrant in real life than on the video and the Dior charms. One of my favorite things about the Dior bags is those Dior charms. One thing I don't like about them, clicking noise when you're walking. <laughs> so I do like to adore that from the distance. And then, oh my God, those tiny little cuties, guys. They're just amazing, especially that one with the butterfly embroidery there. Wow, wow, absolutely tiny little I couldn't stop myself from trying this tiny little thing. How cute it is. Absolutely amazing. Hardly fit anything, but I think it looks so good with this outfit and the white skirt and just a so summery. It's actually a nice vibrant pink. It's not as red as it comes out on the camera, but I adore that. <laughs> I've said that many, many times that Dior saddlebag in a regular size is my perfect bag. The bag that I'm on the hunt for, my dream bag. It's on the top of my wish list. I'm going to check if they have any other colors apart from this on display because the those are not my favorite colors. I have particular colors in mind, to be honest with you, but mm, I love, I just love Dior Saddlebag. And this is my dream bag Dior Saddle in the regular size. Now it comes with a removable strap as well. I don't see myself wearing the regular size with a strap. I totally see that as a, just a shoulder bag. This one is a cedar green color and you know I'm after sage green or a navy color and unfortunately they don't have that in stock at the moment. What do you think about this color?
trying a classic Lady D with a guitar strap. Perfect, perfect for the summer. Again, not the most practical one, but it's just a piece of art. Look at this, just amazing. They didn't let us film in Louis Vuitton, but I showed you a tiny little sneak peek there and move moving to Mio Mio. What you think about this brand? It's everywhere at the moment. Those bags are literally everywhere. And I'm eyeing for the one from the Runaway in a cognac color as well. I actually placed the order for that bag twice and twice my order has been canceled. Here they have a very small selection of the Mio Mio bags including those new ones from Ra like a raffia i believe it's a fabric not the raffia itself what do you think about the, the hottest brand over the past two years we've seen that before in glasgow all the raffia prada bags i just wanted to show you that once again seen this brand before that could be a great alternative to Bottega Veneta they are great sizes I'm going to show you a price tag just in a second the only thing they made of nylon that's not the leather at all but if we're looking into that one a little Bottega Veneta sister let's have a look what we have there on the price tag so that's how much it is for this one. And then we have another alternative to Bottega Veneta. That's a British brand called Dragon Diffusion. This one I made of leather. And I'm going to show you a price talk for that one as well. Let's have a look. Where is this? So that's what we're looking at. I really like Chloe basket bags. They're actually uh, on the top of my list, my wishing list for the basket bag. What do you think about them? I don't particularly like the denim one, probably just the simple, that canvas one with a Chloe would be perfect. The denim, I'm just too scared of the color transfer on the light summer clothes. And let's have a look into the little price stack here as well. That's what we've got. But I really like, you know, on the basket bags from Chloe, guys, I like that little 
leather tag saying that it's uh, handmade. I just love it, just love it. silver hardware one of my favorite things about 19 and this one a little logo cc double cc mm, so pretty and so soft oh my god and how pretty is this one this little chanel charms and the color and this backpacks cute We have Chanel 22 Mini here and a lambskin leather with a classic gold hardware. And I'm going to try the denim one as well. And that's the denim Mini Chanel 22. Which one do you prefer? What do you say? The only thing I'm afraid of here is potential color transfer. It's super pretty, especially for this summer. And what do you think about this one? The details on this one is amazing. Look at that. I absolutely love this ball to allow you change the shape of the drawstring as well. Absolutely lovely. Cute little backpack. You know, I have a soft spot for any Chanel bags made of fabric. That's probably my favorite today. A quick sneak peek to Bottega Veneta. I could miss Bottega Veneta, you know that. And we are going straight to mini look bags. I've already mentioned that before in my video of five best bags from Bottega Veneta, that this one is one of them, one of the five best bags due to the price in different sizes, beautiful in Trichato, and of course, of course, the shape and the colors there as well. Um, so I love the bag. I love the bag. Totally recommended. One of the best camera bags on the market. And then we have a mini Jody and a one mini Jody in suede as well. Beautiful gray color. And then we have a small Jody and a large Hope. Between them two, guys, I do prefer my small Jody. That one is a little bit too big and I don't like this flap closure, magnetic closure. I way prefer the ooh, zip closure there. And a small hop there as well. And the new Jamelli bag. I'm going to try that one just now. What do you think about this one? I'm not sure what to think about that one. I need to try it out to make up my own opinion. And the regular cassette there as well. And the ARC bag. Perfect tote bag, which I also mentioned in my video of five best bags from the Tega Veneta. Oh, and Diamo from the Tega Veneta in suede, the color beautiful desert color oh my god guys so cute 
um, the smaller sizes. Not a fan of the Andiamo, you know that. I already have done a video. The full review on the Andiamo East West bag in the small size. I love this bag, but I admire that from the distance, not for me due to that. And sardine, and a knot clutch is the classic Bottega Veneta. And a smaller sardine. Oh no, actually it's the same size. <laughs> that one, the smaller one that you can wear across body. Wow, that's the interesting one. The metal knot clutch. I'm trying a new Gemelli bag from Bottega Veneta in the regular size. This strap can come off and I will show you in a minute how you can use that pouch, little pouch with a zip closure as a shoulder strap as well. But unfortunately the pouch doesn't come off at all. It would be such a nice idea to get that pouch off as well so you can wear that as just to the, you know, use it as a separate pouch. Wear that as a little clutch. Let me just show you how we can wear that as a shoulder strap. That's what it looks like on the shoulder. And I like the novelty of this idea. I like how unusual it is. But is it the most comfortable arrangement? Probably not. And the shoulder strap, as you can see, with the pouch is much shorter. So I wouldn't be able to wear that as with any bulkier outfits. But the, the shape is very interesting, you know, like a edgy and mmm. What do you think? Is it too much or it's a really cool? And obviously we couldn't miss Levy. My absolute favorite one. Okay, along with a Bottega, yes. <laughs> and the Mulberry, you know me, but finally we see some basket bags. That's what I've been after, but unfortunately I can't see anywhere else apart from Chloe and Loewe. Much choice of the basket bags. I'm going to try on this one so we can just to check them all out. So I finally can make my final decision. That's the brand new. I haven't seen that one before. I don't even know the name of it. I'm going to definitely check it out later on online. But I really like this kind of like a triangle shape. What is it? Trapezian triangle? Tra trapezian shape backwards? What do you think? <gasps> wow, it's super light. Oh, and it feels so nice. And that color, amazing. Bottega does one of the best gold beige colors. Always say that. Pretty, pretty bag. New version of the puzzle bag in the small size. What do you think about this one? Or do you prefer the old one? I'm a fan of the old puzzle, to be honest with you. I'm going to show you the small one. The mini, sorry, that one is a small. I'm going to show you mini just in a second. And that's the mini puzzle edge. It comes with a removable strap. It does not have any back pocket, zip back pocket like a small does. I really like the size, but a little bit small. In this particular case, I do prefer small. That would be my choice. And the old version as well. As I said, it's same for the mini size. I do prefer the old version of puzzle bag. Paseo bag is really pretty. It also comes with a removable strap. I really like those teeny weeny things. Not that teeny, <laughs> not hanging down there. You can easily wear that on the crook of your arm as well. Such unusual East West shape. That's what Levy is famous for. They are unusual designs and amazing quality of the leather.
how cute is that? You look at that. I have a soft spot for the leopard print just now. But I've never been a fan of La Chiquita bag, but look at this. How pretty and cute is that? The bijou bag on the leopard print as well. And more. What do you think about leopard print? And we're finishing up today with a little resale from Selfridges. We have a beautiful Chanel bags there. That's the prices there for the reference. We have a more Chanel there. And then Goyard as well. I really like this initiative from Selfridges. You can buy a vintage, you can buy a pre-loved. And we have a more Dior there as well. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Little Sprotkin Beauty. And pink, wow. That pink is just an eye candy. The prettiest pink ever. And the mini saddle with the sparkles. Give me more of this. And that's me for today, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Unfortunately, I didn't see as many basket bags as I hoped for today, but I had a good sneak peek into the Loewe, Jacques Mousse, Chloe, and the Coach basket bags, and I definitely made up my mind about my favorite one. And I'm ready to make the video about five best basket bags for a summer 2024. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and the thumbs up for this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!